In this video, I'll show you how you can add another speech agent to Adobe Captivate 2019. So this has been a question that has come up before, and I saw my friend Miho, who wrote a question similar to many questions that have come before. Um, how do we get another speech agent specifically for another language installed in Adobe Captivate 2019. So how it works today is that when you purchase Adobe Captivate 2019, either as a standalone uh, software or as a uh, subscription service, you do have access to additional voices or a series of voices that you can use for text-to-speech. So if I go in and I create a very simple blank project, and we go into window and into slide notes and we click on the text to speech icon which is located on the right hand side of the slide notes panel you'll see in this drop down selector I have a series of voices now the ones that come with Adobe Captivate are Bridget, Chloe, James, Julie, Kate, Paul and Yumi uh, and of course, I have the, the two languages, the two voices that are available as part of Windows 10. Microsoft David, who speaks English, United States, and Zira, who also speaks uh, United States. And I was looking at these two and I thought, there's got to be more voices available for Windows 10. And it turns out that, you know, I was right. So let's close down Adobe Captivate. And to install additional speech agents in Windows 10, separate from Adobe Captivate, but can be used by Adobe Captivate, you want to click on the Start button, go to Settings, and then go to Time and Language right here in the middle. And we're going to go down to Speech and scroll down to the bottom here. Now here you can see I've got two voices uh, installed right now. But there is this plus icon to add additional voices. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And this is going to open up the voice packages window here. Now, if I'm searching for a particular language, I can just type in that language. Uh, or, you know, um, we could choose uh, Japanese for, for Miho's sake here. I'm going to select that option and click on Add. And we'll just take a few moments to download the additional voice agent or voice for text-to-speech. So once that's installed, you can restart Adobe Captivate. And I'll go with just a blank project for now. We'll open up the Notes panel. Click on the text-to-speech icon. And now we'll take a look and Sure enough, we now have a Japanese voice that we can use for text-to-speech in Adobe Captivate. Now, of course, if I select that and click the plus icon, I can't just write English text in here and expect it to be uh, English with a Japanese accent or uh, expect it to translate to Japanese. I need to paste actual Japanese language into here. And I've copied and pasted something from Google Translate to be a sample. Hopefully it sounds okay. Mio can probably tell me. And I can click on Generate Audio. And then we can test it out by using the Play button uh, right within the Speech Management window. Konnichiwa, Miho. Anata wa kono video no inspiration deshita. Go shitsumon arigatou gozaimasu. So there you go. There's an example of how you can get an additional speech agent to work within Adobe Captivate. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.